In this video, we look at the condensation reactions of the amino acids. Amino acids react together in a condensation reaction in which a molecule of water is released. A peptide bond is formed between the acid group of one amino acid and the amino group of another. So here's an example which I'll go through in more detail in a minute. We have alanine and glycine. They react together forming a peptide bond between the two amino acids and a molecule of water is released. Next I'll demonstrate how to draw a dipeptide from two amino acids. So on the left here we have alanine, on the right we have glycine and we're going to join these together to make a dipeptide. So we have this part of the molecule, this is from alanine and we have this part on the right from glycine. Now for a dipeptide these two parts are not going to change. All we have to do is connect the two with a peptide bond. So I'm going to draw a C double bond to an O and then a bond to a nitrogen which is bonded to a hydrogen. So here we have the peptide bond in the red between the two amino acids. Now this is a condensation reaction so we also have to remember that we lose a molecule of water for each two amino acids that bond together. Sometimes you'll be asked to draw the structures of two different dipeptides that can be formed from two amino acids such as alanine and glycine. Well, the top here I've got the order as alanine and then glycine, so A-L-A-G-L-Y, this is alanine, this is glycine. And at the bottom, all I've done is I've switched them around, so first I have glycine and then I have alanine, which is G-L-Y and A-L-A. -A. So here we have two different dipeptides that can be formed from two amino acids.